All right, guys. Welcome back to Full Horse Inc. And it is finally here. This is our winnings from the CPA box that we got whenever they did this suspense, fear, and I forget the other one. But you had the chance to win the two people that were in The Conjuring. Uh, you could have got a misery, uh, you know, sign piece. But I was lucky enough to win a piece. I was, it was a good thing I dug through my box because that's where I found it. And I won a Leatherface. And I figured that's mostly what was going around was the Mark Burnham Leatherface. But before I show you guys, I want to say something that is kind of bullshit. Uh, whenever you give something away or someone wins a prize, you, in your brain, expects it to be free, correct? Like, hey, uh, like I'm doing, uh, you know, needless plug here, but, you know, and a few videos down, there is a giveaway video for you to check out that you should check out. Uh, in that giveaway, I'm not charging anybody for anything. I'm not charging you for shipping. I'm not charging you for this, packing, box, nothing. I'm not saying, hey, you're going to win this, but you got to pay this. Well, CPA did. And it really pissed me off. And it was a good thing I had the money in my account. Because maybe if you win something, you're not expecting to have to put money out, so you may not have anything. So I contacted them to let them know I won. And they were like, hey, congratulations, that's cool. And I said, you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys doing this. I appreciate, you know, you having conference, you know, uh, back and forth with me so I can get this straightened out of like, okay, this is how, this is what I do to claim my prize. So they said, okay, uh, what size did you want? Did you want an 8x10 or 11x14? Because they're giving me the choice. I was like, oh, well, you know, it's not on my dime, so let's go 11 by 14 Hell, let's go. They said, okay, we're going to send you a gift card. And whenever you go in, you're going to go in, you're going to do all the stuff you're supposed to do for the uh, pre-order of the autograph. And then you'll just use your uh, gift card and it'll, you know, they'll take care of that. Cool. So I get the code for the gift card. I go in, I say, yeah, I want the autograph. I want 11 by 14. You have to select that different from the 8 by 10. Okay. It says $40 for the autograph, $5 for the 8 by 10. Cool. Do you want a Beckett certification? Of course I do. Because, you know, we're in the autograph game. We need that certification, that COA. So I said, yes, I want the certification. Cool. Do you want it personalized? Well, fuck yeah, I want it personalized. Because that's cool. Do you want a character name? Yeah. Well, it didn't charge for the character name or me getting it personalized. That's fine. What pen color? I said, I'd like yellow. Yellow paint pen look, would look great, especially with Leatherface. Because I've liked how the Funkos and the other signings have went with him putting yellow on. It looks really good. So after I finished everything, I total out, I put my code in. I still owed, I think it was like, it was close to $20 was what I still owed. And I was like, this is a little bit confusing. Uh, I won this. Why do I got to pay? So the only thing they give me a gift card for, I'm sorry this is running so long. The only thing they give me a gift card for was the autograph itself. And I won to 11 by 14 so they gave me an extra $5 to cover the charge up for the 11 by 14 I had to pay for the Beckett certification, I had to pay a pre-order charge for me pre-ordering, which was confusing to me. Because why are you fucking charging me when I won this? It should be as easy as you just take it down and be like, okay, cool, we'll put it in a stack, and you know, no charge, we'll just ship it to you. That's how it should have went, but it didn't. And then they also charged me shipping and taxes and stuff like that, so I ended up paying close to $20 on something I won. That's like winning a car... And then having to pay all the taxes on the car before you can get it. Because that's what happens. People think that you win a car if you just win a car. No. You have to pay all the taxes and everything. The car needs registrations and all that stuff. To even legally get it into your name. So when you win the car, it's not your car until you pay for everything. But this very much put me off. And it kind of pissed me off. That I had to pay out. Like if I'm giving something away or I win something, I expect this. I don't expect uh, you have to pay out for a winning. But enough of my bitching. Let me show you the autograph. Now, I got to go through and choose, you know, like I said, paint color, what image I wanted, and 11 by 14. And it, it came out uh, very well. Like, I really liked, uh, I picked this image, and two Chuck, Mark Burnham, and then Leatherface. But I really like the yellow on this image, because of how dark the image is and stuff. Very cool. But still pissed at CPA for charging me on something I won. I'm sure a Kathy Bates uh, autograph, yeah, if if I can get a Kathy Bates for you know me just paying uh, shipping and then the uh, COA and stuff, 
that twenty dollars is nothing compared to what the autographs were or the people from the Conjuring. But this was such a low, and it, you know I appreciate it. Like I said, I am not. I I was I paid it. I paid the money to get it because I was very thankful. Um, and if those bigger stars, I could have got those. I wouldn't mind you know brushing off twenty dollars for that because that's basically me paying twenty dollars for a two three hundred dollar autograph stuff like that. But it sucks that I had to pay. CPA, if you give someone something, if they win something, and you give them the chance to win it, it's got to be free, man. You cannot charge people for that shit. Because it turns people against you. Like, I know Josh had a very bad experience with his mask and all the back and forth it took with them. It was garbage. And he got it. Now, your mystery box game, that was cool, man. Great prices. Great stuff inside. But you're like, you know, your fees for pre-orders and stuff like that and your, um, your autograph fees, that's... It's not cool to do that and to fuck around because it makes people not want to use you. I mean, I'm just one out of probably billions of people that use you and are going to use you no matter what because they like you. I'm just saying. Bullshit. But, sorry for the long video of me being pissed off about this. But I'm happy I have it. It turned out great. Thank you very much, CPA. But I doubt, if it's not a mystery box, I will, I will never probably use you. But if you liked everything, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I really hope to see you guys next.